Hello, citizens of the internet, and welcome to the Dad's Guide to Minecraft. Let's play. Well, today we are going to be moving our stuff from our Woodland Mansion and Pillager Outpost base over to our Savannah base. Um, and I'm going to show you how to tame llamas and then to use llamas as pack animals to help you in big moves like this one. So if taming llamas sounds like a plan, then let's get started. Okay, originally I was gonna do a building episode today, but I was like, you know, I'm gonna to have to do this anyhow, so I might as well videotape it and uh, show everybody how to, um, you know, tame llamas and uh, use them to move stuff over to other bases and stuff like that. So let's go ahead over to our mountainous area over here, and I know there's a couple llamas, and there are so many foxes in these woods. I mean, it's like fox crazy. And I did see something interesting. Um, I'll put a little clip um, up here from uh, when I was previously just, you know, doing some uh, building uh, of that portal back there to make it look like the Woodland Mansion. Um, the the foxes and wolves do not share territory. And so wolves will attack foxes if they are in the same area. Um, and I was able to catch that on video and, uh, you know, I'm showing that right now. Okay. Anyhow, so um, we are going to go over here and grab a couple llamas. That's why I have the leads. Um, the way that llamas work is once you tame them, so basically the same thing, you open fist, touch them like this, and you ride them around until they give you hearts and they can be stubborn. Uh, luckily they don't spin on you while you're trying this because that would be super, super annoying. Um, you can also make them more likely to um, love you by feeding them too. So let's go ahead and go in here and we have carpets. So uh, every color carpet will make the llama look slightly different. So I brought a, a red one and a white one so you can see the differences here. So you put the carpet in this spot right here and uh, that makes your llama tame. Now you can't ride them and steer them like you would a, um, a horse or a donkey or a mule. Uh, but what you can do is you can take chess and you can click them on the side like that. And this gives them the ability to carry items. So you can click on top of them and then click here. And oh, this is a nine slaughter. That's a good one. Basically, you don't want to do this for anything that's um, lower, you know, e <laughs> Sometimes you only get like, you know, three. I mean, it's, it's kind of a, you know, I don't want to say a crapshoot, but it is. It's, you know, you just kind of have to go with the luck of what you get. Uh, but this is good. This is good. You can have more slots, obviously, but um, I'm happy with that amount. That's kind of like what a donkey has. Now let's go ahead and tame this guy too. I'll ride him around here. We get some hearts and then we'll put the uh, white one on this guy. White carpet. Love me. Love me. Give me your hearts. Come on. Come on, no, I don't want smoky particles. I want heart particles. I want heart. There we go. Yay, heart particles. You do love me. All right. So we can put a white carpet on, and uh, now this looks like the, I guess the flag of Mexico or Italy or any dozen other countries, but I'm probably probably like uh, somewhere in the uh, uh, South America region. Okay. So let's go ahead and see how many slots this guy has when we put um, chest on the side here. Okay, and check that out. See, this is only three, so that is not great. Um, but what we're gonna do is we'll we'll keep him around um, and we'll breed these guys together and hopefully get a llama that is um, can hold a little bit more. So the way llamas work is you only need one lead. So when you have one llama with a lead on it, the other tame llamas around will follow. See, just like that. So you only ever need to use one lead. And uh, you can you can create quite the caravan of llamas this way. Yep, still there. All right, let's keep on going over. If you're always unsure, you can absolutely um, you know use uh, more leads to lead them around. Um, but uh, one usually works just fine. Well, let's go back to base, and I'll show you how to breed these guys. Okay, now that we're back here, let's go ahead and breed these guys. So the way that you breed llamas are hay bales. So we got hay bales from that village previously. So let's go ahead and use that to uh, tame these guys. Okay. So just like every other animal, you just click on them with the hay bale and you get the love particles like that. And we should get a baby llama here. And there we go. A little baby llama. 
and you can feed hay bales to the llamas to get them to grow faster. But um, we're going to let this person grow up just, you know, normally. And um, we'll keep on breeding these guys a little bit more and see if we get a couple more spots open because we need quite a bit to um, bring these back here. And then we'll have a whole little army of llamas around. All right, and here our little guy has grown all up. And um, we have other carpets that I grabbed from the Woodland Mansion we can try out. So we have gray, brown, and um, black. Let's try black. That would be kind of cool. So we got to tame them first. So we need that open fist. Uh, let's get this out of here real quick. Get on top. Ride them around until we get our love hearts. Yay. That was quick. Nice. Probably because I fed him lots of food. Oh, we're going to do black. Okay. Put this up here. Oh, that looks cool. He's like a, a nether, like an end, an end llama. I like it. Okay, let's br keep on breeding up a couple of these. And uh, I've just been going over to the Woodland Mansion and grabbing resources out of there. Um, like flower pots and other things that I missed the last time. Oh, we're going to see what his uh, chest thing would hold. Let's go ahead and check that out real quick here too. Okay. Get out. Uh, three. Man, these three llamas are killing me. Um, okay. Hopefully we can get a good one here. Let's see. Are you a three? Um, I can't remember. Yeah, white white was a three. Uh, red is the one that's nine. So let's see if breeding, you know, maybe there's a chance that we get a better llama out of these guys. Um, no? Not going to breed? Apparently it was too soon for this dude right here. Okay. Well, you stay here, and I will be back in a second after I go raid that a little bit more and see what's uh, if there's anything that I missed. You know, when I was looking through these chests to see everything I need to bring over, I realized I do have a saddle. So I can go get one of those donkeys as well, which will be awesome because um, we'll have just one more thing. And we can ride the donkey and have the llama little train behind us the whole way. So let's go ahead and uh, go grab that donkey really quick. Okay, when taming donkeys, it's the same as any other kind of horse or llama. You tap it with the open hand and you ride it until you get hearts. I'm going to keep on doing this until we get hearts here. Come on, love me with your hearts. There we go. Okay, now uh, we can go ahead and hit the inventory screen, put a saddle down like that. And uh, same thing, we can then um, hit the side of the donkey with um i think we have to get off first you can click it with the chest and uh now this guy has storage that we can uh, access so we can go in here look at it and look at all that inventory sweet sweet inventory um it's too bad we don't have another saddle because i think you need to have the saddle on let's go ahead and test this off really quick here so uh, actually let's go take this off okay does he still have can i still access that inventory I can. Okay. So there's two donkeys. All right. We can actually, we'll maximize this here. We're going to tame this guy too. And then we'll use a lead on one. And then um, we'll ride the other one. Come on, donkey. Sometimes these guys, uh, these they can take forever to tame too. All right. Nope. That was quick. Come on. There we go. All right. So we are going to... Go ahead and um, put a chest on this one too, right there. All right, and we can ride this one. Let's go ahead and check it out. Yep, good inventory. And um, let's go, we'll lead this one over here. I did not realize you could do that with the chest and then not have the saddle on. I thought it disappeared after that. But yeah, we are we are cooking. I think we're gonna have enough with our llamas and uh, with these donkeys and with our own inventory to bring most everything back that we need. Uh, we don't need to take everything back, obviously, um, because there's just certain things that, um, you know, like seeds and um, certain items like maybe rotten flesh. We don't, we have a couple of to just take up inventory slots that we don't really need to take with us. All right, so I'm going to go back to the base and uh, we'll see if that other llama um, has grown up. Okay, we got our two donkeys back here and uh, our llama grew up while we were getting back this direction. So 
Let's go ahead and tame this one as well. Um, if I can get in here, thank you. And we will see, we have a bunch of carpets so we can pick a, a cool color for this guy too. There we go, all right. And we have, let's see, we haven't done blue yet. That looks cool. Um, blue is a possibility, how about lime? That one's neat as well. That looks a little bit like the um, white one in yellow. Looks like the awning of a shop. You have light gray. Oh, that's, that's cool. I like that checkered pattern. We might go with light gray. How about purple? Oh, it's an Enderman. Oh, that is super sweet. Okay. Um, hmm. Enderman is kind of cool. How about pink? Oh, that's cute too. Um, Hmm. We've done, we've done black before, we've done red, we've done white. Did we do purple? Yeah, we did do purple, right? Yeah, that's the Enderman one. Um, Fully going for Enderman. That is that is super cool. Love it. Okay, let's see. Did we get better uh, storage with this guy? Um, let's check it out here. And Oh yeah, nine. Okay, cool. So I wonder if we breed the two nines together. Um, so that was the red one and the purple one now. If we can get more nines or it's completely random. So I have, yeah, I have the hay right here. Okay, let's go ahead and grab that. And we'll try this real quick here with these two and see if we get um, a baby that is. Hmm. For some reason, the new ones don't want to breed, and I'm not sure why. I think I could breed these two if I do that one and this one right here. Maybe. I think those two bred, maybe. Hmm. I'm confused. How many llamas around here right now? Okay. Hmm. Now, breeding donkeys is a different story altogether. Um, we can actually do that because we have golden carrots. And it's either golden carrots or golden apples. So, it, like I said, it is expensive to do this. Where did I put those? Right here. All right. So, we'll grab uh, two golden carrots. I'll just grab all of them. And let's feed the donkeys because if we have more donkeys, we have even greater storage to take things over. And there's our little baby donkey. Hi, baby donkey. This has been quite the animal episode. Um, I think I'm going to have to lead this dude because I think he will wander off. Um, so we'll go ahead and put you with your parents right here on this one. Oh, uh, there we go. Okay. So we will wait for these two to grow up and I think that's going to be plenty of storage for us. And then we can uh, see about heading over to um, our other land. Okay, and here are our last two that have grown up and I actually have in this time put everything in the chest already and my inventory is full, um, but everything is ready to move that I'm going to move. So uh, let's go ahead and just tame these last two real quick here uh, and get them on our side so we can um, move everybody over. Uh, come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on, donkey. And that was a long time. Be on there and not bucked off. Come on. Come on, don't be stubborn. This might be the longest I've ever ridden on the back of a donkey trying to tame it. Wow. This is a strong-willed one, this one. Ah, oh, man, that took a long, 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 long time. All right, go ahead and put you on right there. And we can get off and put the chest on. And then we are good with uh, this dude right here. Okay, and then we'll do our llama real quick. Hopefully it won't take so long. Where'd you go? And yeah, what is it with these? Okay, there we go. I was going to this younger generation, man. They, they, um, don't like, we'll do a blue one on this one. There we go. That looks cool. It's really cool, actually. I like it. Okay, we've got tons and tons of uh, folks here, and um, I think we are ready to lead them over. So, okay, let's see if we can do this here. So, I'm riding this donkey, and I've got leads for everybody else. So, the trick is going to be is to get all of these guys to come through the portal. Get everybody to follow here. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. This might be a little bit tricky. 
Okay, we got a couple through. See if we can grab this llama real quick here. Right. Alright, I'm gonna take these guys through one at a time. Yeah, I think that's the case. Every time they go through the lead breaks and we have to grab the next one, bring them through here. Okay, and that should be everybody through except for us. Okay, let's go through donkey. Oh, you know what? I can't ride him through here. Okay. It's probably a safety precaution because you don't want to um, actually merge when you teleport through this portal with your donkey and become a half donkey, half man. A monkey. No monkeys allowed. Alright. Alright guys, come over here. Play away from there real quick. Okay, grab our other donkeys, and then one of these llamas. They all get in line. Okay, actually, I, I'm gonna ride this guy right here. Get over here, open fist. There we go. All right. Okay, I think this is it. So let's go into a different perspective here and see how we look as we're going across. Yeah, look at that. That is how you move, folks. Right there. We have our donkeys. We have we're right in style. We have our oh, better wait for these llamas to catch up. Going kind of fast for them. But yeah, that is how you do it. That's that's uh that's an organized move using llamas and donkeys. All right, I'll cut back once we get to the uh, other area, the Savannah Village. And here we are. We're back over at our little base in the Nether uh, outside the Savannah Village. Uh, so let's see if I can get these guys through a little bit easier this time. I think what I do, if I lead a bunch of them up and then pull them through, that might be a good thing. The first thing I'm going to do is actually see if it's nighttime over there and then um, I'll pop back if it's not because uh, I don't want to bring these guys into a, a war zone, so to speak. So uh, let me go check really quick. Okay, I went through and reset the night. So um, let's go ahead into here and see if we can grab the rest of these guys and bring them over. Okay, I think if I grab all of them with leads, I'd be able to pull them all through. That would be easier. Uh, except when they jam up like that. Come on. There we go. What I should have done last time, huh? Oh, oh no. I lost somebody. Who did I lose? Oh no. I lost our little donkey. That's not good. All right, let me uh, throw some stuff in here really quick. I have space. Oh, that's sad. We lost little donkey. Little donkey was carrying tons of things. All right, let that be a lesson. Don't bring everybody through at one time uh, because they get stuck in the walls. Uh, sadly, I lost two donkeys. Um, oh no. So uh, if we're gonna have another breeding uh, set of donkeys, I'm gonna have to find another one in the wild. Oh, that's so sad. But I was able to get all those stuff back. But um, yeah, don't don't bring everybody through at once like that. That's a, That was a bad idea. So that brings us to the end of today's episode. If you've enjoyed what you've seen and would like to see more from the Dazka in the future, uh, press that like button, click that subscribe button, and smash that notification bell so you don't miss an upcoming episode. Um, next time, I think we will actually start building something else in this village. I need to do a temple that I have in mind, and also uh, my little house as well that's going to be kind of like a little fortress. So, until next time, this has been Dad's Guide. Bye for now.